Welcome back. I am doing something different today. I am I am using Chromium OS from Cloud Ready. There we go. And it is using Screencastify, a add-on to Chrome browser, or in this case, the Chromium browser, to do a screen recording. So we'll see how well it does. My opinion of this Neverware Cloud Ready Chromium OS is I'm actually relatively impressed. It's a little getting used to from, you know, a, I won't say I'm a hardcore Linux user, but I am a Linux user, I'm used to my peppermint, and things are a little bit different, but I can see why this would really, really, really appeal to a new user buying a Chromebook. It is pretty relatively simple. Now, I've done some changes. It took me a little bit to figure out where those changes are. Uh, do not like the default, what they call a shelf. They don't call it a panel in uh, Chrome or in this case, Chromium OS. I'll show you how I, I changed that. But uh, all in all, I mean, it's pretty uh, decent. Uh, I'm using the Momentum web page, and uh, I added a bunch of apps through the Chrome uh, App Store. We got our files, which I have nothing in right now. And then I can connect to Google Drive. Got my email. And then we got our YouTube, uh, the main apps I put on the shelf right now. As you notice, they come up in a an ICE application-like window where it took all the extraneous browser stuff out. It took me a little bit to figure this out because they've changed it since uh, when I was looking at Red Robo's uh, video. It was a little bit different. So you got to go to this arrow over here. So if I would select New Tab, it would bring up the full browser. New Window just brings up a window. That's how we do our applications. The Drawer, these are apps that I've added. I added Zoom, Cog. Here's the system information. Shows the memory usage. This is just under 4 gigs of memory on this laptop. Battery level. Display. Although it shows, um, it doesn't show in megabytes or kilobytes of what the memory usage is, but it's a little easier at glance to see what's going on with your system. Um, it actually has VirtualBox installed, or actually I installed that. I was trying to get the Linux apps going, but maybe in this version or this laptop, I can't do it. And you go to the, you know, the web store, like with Chrome, and find the web apps that you would like. That's pretty simple. Uh, one of the things that actually was I was pretty surprised about, so I have a brother network printer. And through Linux, I have to download the software, the drivers from the brother site. Not too hard to install, but with the Chromium OS, it actually uh, found my printer right away and I was able to do a test print. And I really didn't have much that I had to do. That was pretty easy. Yeah, I'm, I'm relatively impressed. Now, is this something that I would use all the time? Uh, no. I mean, it's very functional. It's on the line of an Android tablet or maybe even a, um, uh, an iPad where it's simple functions, the app applications. I can do, I installed um, Pixlr. So if I want to do quick photo editing in that, it's like a lightweight GIMP. Installed the uh, Wii Video app so I can do some uh, video editing. Uh, there is a Screencastify video editor, but you get three uh, free tries uh, under 10-minute videos. Um, uh, I don't plan to use this that much. This is recording in a WebDM format, and I can easily upload that to YouTube, and they'll convert it. Change the wallpaper. I have it set on a daily refresh, but it has a nice selection already. Google has already had, always had some nice uh, images to add to the desktop. Some nifty little photos, some you know, great landscapes, some cityscapes. That one was kind of cool. You can take the, they call it the shelf, they don't call it the panel. Uh, you can take the shelf. So when you right click on the desktop, these are the only settings that you get. I have it, uh, you know, auto hide my shelf, shelf position. On the left, if you like it, like kind of like Unity, I guess that's not too bad. If you like it on the right, you know, I always thought that being right-handed, it would be easier for me to have these on the right. And I, I tested it out um, when I was doing all sorts of different panels. Like if you go to my Google Plus page while it's still up, uh, you can 
see my screenshots of uh, the different types of iteration iterations I had of my desktop, but I'll keep it on the bottom. So the default settings now aren't that nice. I had to go to Reddit to uh, find how to change the, I did a search and I found this on Reddit and it, it is in a Reddit page. And any way to turn off the shelf Chrome and OS, this is where I found the settings. Copy this Chrome. Let's copy that. Put it in your browser. Paste. All right. I disabled the newest shelf redesign. I disabled the shelf color, uh, which takes it from the wallpaper. And I changed this color scheme to dark and muted. And if you enable the shelf design, and if I turn it on now, it's gonna kill the video, but it restarts and you're gonna have a much different looking shelf panel. There's supposed to be a way to change the size. I think it's a little bit too large, but the auto hide function works well. But uh, I didn't like the icons in the middle. I wanted it to the left, kind of like my, you know, Linux. You sold the stays over to the right. So it's Chrome flags slash hashtag shelf dash new dot UI. And there's a bunch of settings in here that you can play around with, but I guess be careful with them. I just did not like the new shelf panel that they're doing here. Yeah, Chrome, Chromium OS is relatively uh, impressive. I can see why it's uh, gaining popularity. It's simple, easy. You know, if you're used to web applications, this is perfect. It could really help configure an older laptop into something very different, very decent. It shut down quick. It, it starts quick. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed, but am I impressed enough that I'll leave, you know, my beloved Peppermint or even any other Linux distribution? Uh, no, it's functional. If I was to take this laptop on vacation, I would, I would, would I give it to a new user? I would, you know, it, it's just a simplified, uh, way to get online, do your stuff and be done with it. All right. Well, this is my light review on the no, cloud ready, never wear, never wear cloud ready eh, Chromium OS. So as always, I want to thank you for stopping by. Have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever from, and take care.